Hello, citizens of the Doki Doki modding community, you stupid fucking degenerates. You may have seen a certain mod come into existence recently. A mod that's been hyped for an entire year. Yes, that's right. It's... Hey guys, can we get a drum roll? Yeah, thanks. It's... Exit Music Redux. Now, with the mod released, I can see you all foaming at the mouths for more. For more delicious, scrumptious exit music content. And us, the various artists, well, when we see a need, we fulfill it. We pound it. We pound it into the ground until it's screaming, begging for more. Until finally, it lashes out in a pure and utter euphoria and it would never beg for anything else. And so, we introduce you, the one, the only, Exit Music Redux 2. Like all good sequels, we must begin with a small reintroduction to our main cast. Let's see where we have left them. To begin, we have the apple of our eyes, the pink in our hearts, and the love we all yearn for, Natsuki. Um, right, uh, she's dead. That makes sense. She killed herself. Kind of the whole point of the story, really. So yeah, she's not gonna play a part in this. Well, let's pay our respects by having a moment of silence. <laughs> Sorry, I had a... Uh, actually, I had nothing. I just really hate Natsuki. Anyway, moving on. The next character, the character we saw the events of Exit Music through. The complicated, the spineless, the honestly, really ugly MC. Oh, shit! He's dead too. I forgot about that. How did I forget about that? To be fair, the death kind of sucked. It was very overdramatic. I may have blocked it out of my memory. Oh well, shit. Our two main characters are dead. Very dead. Kinda weird that his body is still floating in the water though. Did no one care to look for him? He was a spineless piece of shit, so I don't blame him. Wait, that doesn't make sense. So is still alive by the end of EMR. She must have went out and called emergency services or something. Oh, oh, oh no. I mean, it makes sense. MC killed himself, so she'd probably kill herself too. Christ. And no one's found her either. I guess her parents left once she turned 19. And uh, now her body's gonna rot in her room forever. Wait, there's still hope. Yuri. Yuri and Sayori were really close in EMR. She must have noticed her friend was missing or that she'd cut communication or... Ah, oh, come on! Even now, Yuri's completely useless. Oh man, that's like four out of five gone. Shit, that's... that's depressing. I can't make a sequel with four of them gone. Wait. Maybe I can make an introspective story about Monica dealing with the loss of her friends due to a cascade of actions that traced back to her starting the stupid literature club. Yes, that could work. She has a computer science degree. She's stable. That would be interesting. And it would be thematically cohesive, I think. I can make that work. I can make a depressing story about Monica dealing with the aftermath of EMR. All right, you horny dipshits. Are you ready to go on a journey of guilt, grief, and another thing that starts with G, with the only person who's still alive in EMR? Because I am. Fellas, let's see how Monica is doing. Come on. 
computer science majors, am I right? I liked after school better anyway. Tell me that, oh, these are made